Once upon a time, in a quaint village nestled at the foot of a majestic mountain, lived a young girl named Mei. Mei was known for her vivacious spirit and boundless curiosity, but she often struggled with impulsive decisions that left her feeling lost and uncertain. Little did she know, her life was about to change in the most profound way possible. Mei's journey of self-discovery began when she heard whispers of a renowned Zen master who lived atop the mystical mountain. People from far and wide spoke of his wisdom, compassion, and ability to guide lost souls towards the path of enlightenment. Determined to seek guidance, Mei embarked on a challenging journey through dense forests and treacherous terrain, finally reaching the Zen master's humble abode. As she stood before the master, his eyes sparkled with an inner light that seemed to pierce her very soul. He welcomed her with a warm smile and began to share his wisdom. The decisions we make shape our destinies, young one, he said, his voice like a gentle stream. But the key is not in avoiding decisions, but in making them with mindfulness and awareness. Every choice is a step on the path of life. The Zen master sensed Mei's impulsive nature and decided to impart a lesson that would resonate deeply within her. He handed her a small pebble and instructed her to throw it into the nearby pond. Mei did so, creating a ripple that expanded in all directions. Now, young girl, the Zen master said, watch the ripples and contemplate the consequences of your actions. Mei watched as the ripples danced on the water's surface, extending far and wide. It was a simple act, but the lesson was profound. The Zen master explained, just like this pebble, your decisions send ripples through your life and the lives of others. The more mindful you are of your choices, the more harmonious your life will become. One day, a crisis gripped May's village. A severe drought threatened their crops and livestock, and the villagers were desperate for a solution. May, inspired by the Zen master's teachings, decided to help. She gathered the villagers and proposed a plan to build a sophisticated irrigation system to divert water from a nearby river. It was an ambitious project, but May was determined to make it work. The journey was fraught with challenges, but May's determination and newfound wisdom guided her. Through hard work, perseverance, and unwavering faith, they succeeded in building the irrigation system. The once parched fields bloomed with life, and the village prospered. May's newfound wisdom faced its ultimate test when she encountered a wounded bird one day. Its feathers were torn, and it was in obvious pain. May's first instinct was to rush to its aid, but she remembered the Zen master's teachings. Instead, she decided to observe and assess the situation. She watched as the bird struggled but gradually regained its strength. May realized that intervening too soon might have caused more harm than good. With patience and compassion, she waited until the bird was ready to fly again, and when it did, it soared into the sky with newfound grace. Years passed, and May's reputation as a wise and compassionate leader grew. The villagers often sought her counsel, and she guided them with the same wisdom she had received from the Zen master. But May felt the need to express her gratitude and share her experiences with her mentor. She returned to the Zen master's mountain abode and, with tears in her eyes, told him of her journey, the lessons learned, the lives touched, and the transformation she had undergone. The Zen master smiled, his eyes reflecting the same inner light. My dear May, he said, I merely showed you the path. You walked it with courage and wisdom. Remember, every decision you make is a chance to shape your destiny and the world around you. Embrace each choice with a heart full of love, and you will continue to inspire others. May continued to lead a purposeful life, and her legacy extended far beyond her village. She became known as a symbol of mindfulness, compassion, and the power of conscious decisions. Her story was shared throughout the land, and people from all walks of life were inspired to take each step on their own life journey with care and mindfulness. In the end, May had not only transformed herself but also the lives of those around her. The lessons she had learned from the Zen master had become the guiding light for countless others, reminding them that every decision, no matter how small, had the potential to shape their destiny. This is God of Motive. Thanks for watching and stay focused.